Okay, so you're going to start with your uh, pot. Wait till it's completely dried out. That'll help it to slide out easier and get the uh, soil off of the roots. And then just uh, start massaging the roots. Just work all that old dirt off. Get the old dirt off so you can get some new healthy dirt on. And uh, just move it around and shake it. Shake that old dirt off. And basically you're left with the root system. All the straggly roots or feeder roots, uh, they're not as uh, critical to the, to the plant. So just get some scissors or something and snip those puppies off. The only thing that's really needed is the root ball directly underneath the plant. And this process of root pruning is, is very healthy. It's a great growth stimulant for the plant. It'll love you for doing this and it'll love you for the new soil it's about to get as well. So then uh, here are some other examples of some root pruning that's been done. So now get your uh, pot, fill it halfway full of your uh, potting medium and uh, place your plant right on top of that. And uh, fill it up. Just put the rest of your uh, potting soil in and then uh, put the plant up and down like that and that'll help to work the soil around it. And then I top dress it with Sopo Mag, some composted horse manure, mulch, compost, anything to get that soil super rich and healthy and make those roots even happier. And then I like to mark on the pot uh, the date that I have repotted it but still so I can see the uh, original data potting as well.